if, if the rocks and the, the old buildings could talk. Uh, there's a lot of good and bad and ugly and pretty and things that have happened in this part of the state. Intertwined with that history is a legendary figure, dime novel hero, Kit Carson. John Carson calls him great granddad. Wow. Kit, the Bents, St. Vrain, all those little guys uh, came out here as wanting to be mountain men, fur trappers. In the mid-19th century, Colorado's eastern plains were the front lines of the western expansion. At that time, the government was setting up a whole series of, of forts up and down the Santa Fe Trail. In 1860, the U.S. Army established Fort Lyon along the Arkansas River. The original Fort Lyon played an extremely important role in the transition of the um, sort of symbiotic trading relationship that existed here. Um, starting at Bent's Old Fort in the 1830s. Four years later, that transition would take an ugly turn. Fort Lyon served as the launching point for perhaps the most infamous military campaign in Colorado's history, Sand Creek. With uh, no warning, uh, the soldiers attacked at a place where the Cheyennes thought they were safe. 163 Cheyenne and Arapaho Indians, mostly women and children, lay dead. Those events fueled uprisings, which would last another 30 years, forcing the Army to maintain a heavy presence in the region. Fort Lyon, it would seem, was here to stay. The original Fort Lyon flooded in 1867, and Fort Lyon was rebuilt here. Among the first buildings, two-story adobe houses known as Officers Row. These buildings represent that transition or the continuity of that whole story from Bent's Old Fort to Bent's New Fort to the original Fort Lyon to the continuation of Fort Lyon. The Indian Wars ended in 1897 and the Army abandoned the post. The U.S. Navy moved in a few years later. In the early days it was a tuberculosis hospital, but after World War I it slowly became uh, more of a hospital um, for those in need of psychiatric uh, um, service. Fort Lyon's role as a hospital ended in 2001. It then became a minimum security prison. Two years ago, State budget issues forced that to close, and Fort Lyon again sits unused. So this is the original 1867 parade ground that we're walking on. County leaders want to see Fort Lyon once again serve veterans as a homeless rehabilitation center. Our biggest challenges right now are getting this idea funded. And funded quickly. Empty buildings are an invitation for destruction. If this place is abandoned, it will be, um, I, I'm sure, quite quickly looted. You know, just the daily maintenance that you do at your own home would uh, not be taking place. That's where he spent his last days. Kit Carson died at Fort Lyon in the stone surgeon's quarters that's been converted to a chapel. The hope is that Fort Lyon's true story remains as indelible in Colorado's history as Kit's. And you don't need the old dime novels that were written about Kit. You don't need, you know, glorified uh, stories. Because if, if you read true history, it's, uh, it's amazing how folks survived and what they did and what they had to overcome here.